The Big Bang Theory is both straightforward and easy to misunderstand. So, are you prepared to be perplexed? Did the James Webb refute the Big Bang Theory? The cosmos we observe is expanding, so calling it the Big Bang is seriously deceptive. We observe the expansion of an infinite cosmos with only one discovery, the gen may upend the field of astronomy. Welcome back to the theory of science. Have you heard of the Big Bang? No, it's different than the Big Bang Theory series. You guys might have seen that series, but Sheldon Cooper and the Big Bang are two different things. So, if you're a Sheldon Cooper fan, go subscribe to this channel. Let's get back to our topic. The scientific community has gone into a frenzy as a result of the most recent images from the JWST, which disprove the Big Bang idea. Scientists from all corners of the world have been waiting in line to utilize the huge telescope to study space ever since it was declared operational, but none of them were ready for one of the telescope's first unpleasant surprisings. The JWST has yielded images that disprove the theory of the Big Bang. The Big Bang has taken on a religious significance when it comes to astronomy. Many people use the Big Bang Theory to explain how the universe came into being. According to the success of the hit pro television program The Big Bang Theory, George Lemaitre, a former priest who became an astronomer, is credited with developing the Big Bang Theory. He had the profound insight that the cosmos began as a single point in 1927, a very long time ago. He claimed that the universe might continue to stretch after stretching and expanding to reach its current size. A few years later, the world-renowned astronomer Edwin Hubble, whose space telescope bore his name and was constructed in accordance with Lumetra's concept, found that other galaxies were moving away from us, and that the galaxies that were the farthest away were moving more quickly than those that were near us. There were just hot, tiny particles of light and energy at the universe's beginning. It cooled down, nevertheless, as everything grew and occupied more room. The minuscule particles then coalesced to become atoms. Then, over an extended period of time, those atoms coalesced to form the stars and galaxies that you can see today. More stars were generated simultaneously as a result of the first star's creation of larger atoms and groups of atoms. As new stars were being created and dying, galaxies were colliding and gathering together in one chaotic cosmic spectacle. Black holes, planets, comets, asteroids, and other objects were created. All of this happened in the span of roughly 14 billion years. But what if there had been no Big Bang? Even if this idea had been a mainstay of contemporary astronomy, many scientists may not want to consider it. The JWST remains unrepentant with its most recent batch of images. The amazing visuals created by the JET may captivate the general population. Researchers are working to explain the results in light of the Big Bang idea. The images have a flaw in that they depict several galaxies that are unexpectedly smooth, small, and old. But why do galaxies that are smooth, small, and old contradict the Big Bang theory? In the Big Bang Theory, are you an Amy or a Penny? If you're an Amy, then you probably know what a Big Bang is, and this video is going to help you for sure. However, if you're a Penny, you will most likely need to watch the entire video to grasp the concept. So stay tuned until the end and subscribe to this channel. Even galaxies with more luminosity and mass than the Milky Way galaxy are found to be two to three times smaller in these photographs than in comparable images taken with the Hubble Space Telescope, which the scientists who reviewed the JWST images cannot dispute. Additionally, the redshifts of the new galaxies are two to three times higher. It is not expected for an expanding cosmos to act in this manner. It is considered that the universe is not expanding and that redshift is proportional to distance. The JWST reveals that the galaxies it displays are exactly the same size as the galaxy that is close to us. However, the Big Bang suggests that in order to make up for the proposed optical illusion caused by one galaxy, these far-off galaxies must be intrinsically incredibly small. Despite being 150 times smaller than the Milky Way in radius, the GHZ2 is 150 times more brilliant than the Milky Way and has predicted radius of only 300 light years. It would have a surface brightness or brightness per square inch that is 600 times greater. Tens of thousands of times more matter would be present in the local universe than the luminosity of the closest galaxy. The Big Bang Theory can only be correct if there are powerful mouse galaxies, which are extremely small and dense galaxies. JWST significantly worsened the situation. According to the hypothesis, the small galaxies grew into the current day galaxies by slamming into one another, which caused them to merge as they spread out. According to Big Bang proponents, galaxies would have severe rough edges or scars from the impact they survived or suffered. To their amazement, the result instead showed excessively smooth disks and clean spiral shapes. 
their physical characteristics are identical to those of modern galaxies. The information revealed that there were almost 10 times as many smooth spiral galaxies in the photo as the theory expected. This casts doubt on the notion that galaxy mergers occur frequently. In other words, the merger theory is attacked by this data. And finally, given JWST's enhanced resolution, neighboring galaxies look much smaller and much more compact than what Hubble observed. The new collection of facts poses a fascinating issue for cosmologists to try and solve, as well as an intriguing test for our current cosmological models. The characteristics of these galaxies are why they are. Can these observations be explained by our current understanding of the cosmological model? If not, what kind of effects would it have on future discoveries regarding the dark matter, the expanding universe, or other facets of our cosmic past? All of these are valid research questions that are now the focus of ongoing research. So that's all today. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting videos.